Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will discuss the problem rotate a link list. Previously, this problem has been asked in companies like Amazon and Microsoft. So let us have a look at the problem statement and see how we can code this problem up. So question says that we'll be given the head of a link list which is a singly linked list. So basically there'll be only one direction connections. Okay, so the connections will be from left to right. And uh, then the task is to rotate this linked list clockwise by K nodes. Now, what does uh, this mean when the problem says that we have to rotate the linked list by K positions on the left side? So basically this means that, let's say if we have a linked list, which has got eight nodes, let's suppose we had one, then we had two, then we had three, then we had four, then we had five, then six, then seven and eight. Okay, so this is the link list that we had where the head would have been initially one. Okay, if this was the input uh, link list that was given to us and assume that the K value was four. So if we had to rotate this link list on uh, by on the left side by four, this means that all these four nodes starting four nodes or the starting K nodes that are there, they will go uh, like they will be shifted from the left side. So in, the, in that case, you can say that the first K nodes will be the last K nodes now. So the first K nodes that are there, they will be removed. And instead of that, the node which is having the value five, this will be the starting node. So you will have the link list as what? As five, six, seven, then eight. Okay, and earlier eight was the last node. Now eight's next node would be one, two, three, four. So the first four node nodes that are there, they will follow afterwards. Like this, you can see. Okay, and this is what uh, it means when the problem is asking us to rotate the link list by K positions. So you can see that the first four nodes that are there, they will eventually they will become the last four nodes. So indirectly, you can say that rotating our link list by K nodes means that we have to do what we have to, uh, we have to basically move the first K nodes at the end of the link list. Okay, how can we solve this problem? It's very easy. What we can do is if you'll observe, uh, so I need to apply the algorithm in such a way such that what I can do is, so let's try and observe like what is actually expected from us. Like what kind of connectivity do we actually expect? So if we have the link list like this and suppose K is equal to four. So my responsibility is that if suppose that my current stands here and my previous stands here, right? Because this should be the starting node. So I want a current variable such that it should stand here at the K plus one, like at the K plus oneth node. And once it stands here, then what I need to do is, I need to say that the previous next, okay, if you'll observe, so like K plus, uh, like previous should stand at the Kth node, okay, and uh, like current should stand at the K plus oneth node, you can see here. Now, after that, I, I want my previous next to be null. Why I want my previous next to be null? Because in this case, when I'll do previous next as null, then you'll observe that force next will become null. And because of that, the link list one, two, three, four will be uh, there. And after that, they will be null, right? Because the last four nodes are at the end now. Then after this, what I want is, I want the, like, I want to say that my current guy will be the new head. So the current guy is five. It will be the new head. So you can say that, uh, if this is the new head at five, right? Then it's next node is what it's next node is basically, uh, six. Then after that seven, then after that eight. So I'll ask my current node to move forward until the current next is not null. So you can see that, uh, for eight, it's next is null. So I'll ask my current to stand at the last guy because after I have stored the new head as five, I'll move my current until my current next is not null. So what will happen is if my current uh, it will stand here at the last node eight, then it's next will be null, then my process will stop. So my current will be standing here. Now, once my current stands here, what do I want? I want my current next because the current will point to the last node now of the second half. Okay. Then what will happen with respect to this current? I'll mark its next as what? I'll like, I'll mark this current next as the head, actual head. So then it will be one, then two, and then three, and then four. Okay. And we already know that four was already pointing to null because we had updated the relationship. So you can see that the first four nodes that were there, they are now attached as the last four nodes and rest of the second part of the linked list is now the starting uh, of the linked list. Okay. So this is how we can change the connectivity. So let's try and do this. What we need to do here is firstly, like uh, if we have been given this linked list, as I said already, one, two, let's say three, then we have got four, then we have got five, then we have got six, then we have got seven. Then we have got eight. Okay. And then we have got null here. So what I'll do is, as I said, I'll take my previous as null initially, right? Previous will be the node before this and current will start from here. Now, initially I'll take my counter as one already. Okay. And I'll be at this node. So is the counter less than equal to K because my K value is four. Yes. The counter is less than equal to K. So I'll move my count counter will become two and the current will move to the current next. So current will move here. And now the uh, current node will be the previous node. So previous node will be now one. Okay, then what will happen? My counter will increase again. Counter will be three and current will move forward. 
and before moving current my previous will also move forward so one by one i'll keep on moving forward now after that what will happen my previous will come to the current guy okay and my current will move forward and my counter will become what four okay now my counter is still less than equal to k so my uh, previous will be the current node so previous will move to the current and the counter will become five and the current node will be at five so now my current node is standing at the k plus one th node okay and my previous is standing here my previous is standing at the node four here okay that is the k kth node now as i said like we want the first uh, half to go to the second uh, like first uh, first k nodes to go to the last right so what we need to do is now once our current is standing where but once our current is standing at five okay so current is standing here and the previous is standing here so what what I, what do i expect i expect that previous next should be null okay why because we want uh, force next to be should be uh, to be null so we will do what like this will make one two three four and then null okay then we want to say that the new head node is going to be what the new head node is basically going to be the current node okay and then after that we'll move the current until the current next is not null so the current will be allowed to move till here because then the current next is null so we stop so current should stand at the last node of the second part of the linked list okay so you can see that it is standing at eight now we will do what we want the current next to point to what to point to the actual head of the linked list so then what will happen basically the is, uh, connection establishes five six seven okay then we have eight then we have got what we have got one two three four here and then this connection is made so we can return the new head also one more thing that suppose if a linked list is of eight size okay and uh, we have to do what we have to rotate the linked list by eight only so if a linked list is of eight size and we have to rotate it eight times only so that will be same so indirectly you can say that if at the end the current is standing at null so this means that we have to rotate the linked list uh, the uh, exact number of times as it size so there will be no change in the linked list so this is another edge case that we can take care of now uh, one more thing is that maybe the k might be given as zero so assuming if the k is given as zero in that case you can say that uh, there will be no rotation so what i need to write here is uh, while i'm writing the code i need to check that if the link list that has been given to me if the k value is zero right so k value zero indicates that there is no rotation required so in that case i'll directly return the head node of the link list okay then after this we'll take a node uh, star current at the head okay current will start from the head we'll also take a counter as i said as one okay then what i'll do is i also need to take a node star previous right as the uh, as null because uh, initially for the starting head node when the current is standing there the previous node does not exist okay then what i'll do is as i said i'll iterate until the count is less than equal to k so count is less than equal to k okay and the current should not be null okay and the current is not equal to null here so till that point of time i'll keep on iterating and i'll do what i'll ask my uh, current to move forward so i'll say that uh, current should be what current should move to current's next node okay then after that what should uh, like before that like i should increase my counter also and also one more thing that before moving away from this current guy my previous should be updated to this current and then my current should move forward so now once this has been done then what is the next responsibility that i have i should check if after this what happens if the current becomes null so if the current becomes null what does this indicate suppose that the linked list uh, size was like size was 8 and i want to rotate it eight times then in that case my current would be standing at null this indirectly indicates that if a linked list is of eight size and i have to rotate it eight times exactly so this means that there would be no change in the linked list so that is why if the current is standing at null this means that the number of rotations required are same as the length of the linked list so there will be uh, no rotation overall so because after rotating it uh, the exactly as the length of the linked list the linked list will be the same so in that case you directly need to return the uh, actual head of the linked list because there will be no impact even after rotation otherwise what i need to do is otherwise i want to mark my previous next as what as null okay uh, because uh, the first part of the linked list first k node their last node should be marked as null its next should be marked as null okay then after this what we'll do is we'll take a node star let's say new head okay so we'll take a variable new head which will start at the current node okay because the current will be pointing to the new head and then after this we'll say that while the current uh, next is not equal to null because we want our current now point to point to the last node of the second part of the linked list okay so while the current next is not equal to null till that point of time we'll ask our current to move so current is equal to what current dot next so we'll ask it to move forward one by one until it reaches the last node and once it reaches the last node then i want to say that my uh, uh, last node next it should point to the actual head of the linked list so i am changing the connectivity like you can say that 
uh, if I had a linked list, second half was 5, 6, 7, 8. So current is standing at 8 and now 8's next will be 1 because after 8, 1 should be there. So that is what I am doing here. And then I can simply return the new head of my linked list as well. So I hope that you are able to understand this approach so far. Now let's try and uh, compile this to check if it is working fine on the samples or not. So it does work fine on the samples. Let's try and submit this and it should get accepted hopefully. Yes, it is getting accepted as well. So talking about the time complexity of my code, what is the time complexity here? So time complexity would be nothing but order of n because we are iterating throughout the length of the linked list overall. We are iterating through all the n nodes in the worst case. Okay, and space complexity is order of 1 because I am not using any extra space. I am just changing the connectivity of the existing node only. I am not making any new nodes here. So, and this problem as I said, it was previously asked in uh, fan companies like Amazon and Microsoft. So, make sure that you are trying this problem up. In case if you understood this clearly, make sure to comment down understood and plus 1. Thank you for watching this video and keep coding guys.